It's Bourbon Night. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. And welcome to the replay of our first live streaming event. No doubt it'll, there'll be some technical difficulties sure. here, but... Um, They're yeah, with yeah, us. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're yeah, learning. Yeah. yeah, we're learning. We're learning this. So. I'm just really excited that we get to do this screen in general. Here, screen here, Yeah, we got there. screens. Uh, I gotta figure out how to see your comments real quick. Yeah, so... Um, yeah. I'll figure it out in a second. <laughs> no just, one's on yet, so... We're just gonna really try hard not to just watch ourselves... Instead of the camera. It's tough. There's the camera. Because we're so fun. Yeah. yeah, we're so fun. We're so great to look at. We're so great. Yeah. Mostly you, but. <laughs> okay, so, um, yeah. Let me figure out one sec how to see where people may come. Oh, here? Is okay. this top? Just as chat. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Fellow viewers and other live streamers, is this where chats are? <laughs> they, can't, they can't see where I'm pointing. No. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we've got. Oh, hi, from Texas. Got, yeah. Hi. Oh, hi. Ooh, hi, Jeff. live stream. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, cool. as, as we kind of wait for more people to roll in here, we're going to talk about how yesterday was the um, start of the Bottle and Bond Act of 1897. So March 3rd, 1897 is when the Bottle and Bond Act went into effect, and it was basically the United States' first customer care act. Like, right. Like, who cares about food? We care yeah, about whiskey. This was... I think a couple decades before, like, you know, the FDA or the, or USDA or whatever, what those, um, just the, the, the <laughs> <laughs> live, the, just drink your juice. Yeah. The customer care <laughs> acts, uh, for food went into place. Uh, whiskey was more important and that's because there was whiskey rectifiers out mm -hmm. there who were taking young juice and adding things like, you know, emptying out spittoons that's disgusting or just other things that could really harm you into like arsenic arsenic and other yeah. things mm. in there to make this really light whiskey look darker and also taste better i mean they, they could put some food additives in there too to kind of make it have a better taste but it was basically just Gross. rectifying really crappy whiskey so the government stepped in and said we can't have this you know bourbon is more important so they made the Bottled and Bond Act, and there's several rules for it. Mm -hmm. um, I think one of the most important ones, it has to be f at least four years old. Right. So you know it's aged, and they also put it at exactly 100 proof. Mm -hmm. So you know it's a good proof. Yeah. Um, has one to, distiller, yeah. one distilling season. I know things, too. Go for it. <laughs> I'm going to drink. No, that's all I know. No, I'm just kidding. Um, and, like, you know, legally bonded warehouse that they have keys to, they can go and check on it, make yeah. sure everything's kosher um we got some people asking what we're drinking on because oh. we're talking about bottled and bond we have an entire cart full of bond bourbons behind us <laughs> but right now we're just drinking on some good old fits yeah old fits old fits before you know that um 11 year comes out uh, in a few months spring anyway um yeah i'm really excited about 110 that 110 dollars you know this was like <sighs> Thirty dollars and it's for a handle and it's good. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good for. I mean, for the price for and the, the, price. the amount. Yeah, so I like it because it's. I like that you can cheers with the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> cheers. Wow, jeez, check for cracks. But yeah, so yesterday was mm. the uh, commemoration of. Yes, we have a lot of people from all uh. over. Someone else is drinking Henry McKenna ten. We got that back yep. here. Welcome Ooh. from Chicago. Oh, hey Tom. We got someone from Scotland. Someone from Germany. Ah. Uh. Yeah, Denmark. Look at that. Look oh, at that. Heinrich. Oh, Heinrich. Hey, What's Heinrich. Up? What's up? Yeah. And everyone else. I'm just as excited to see you, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I met him. And James, I met you. I know him. I know him. I know him. <laughs> Santa. Uh, yeah, so that's that's what we're doing. That's kind of what we're doing, yeah. Oh, my notes are over there. I got you. See, look at this. We're just... We'll get better, you guys. Uh, it's our first real time. It's our first real time. And also, we haven't been in this location since... Since we were doing our first... Yeah, before the channel actually started. ...bracket of the 50 under 25, before we even started the channel, we used to film up here. Yeah. And we decided for live, we should just do something a little bit different. A little different. So we're going to, yeah. you know, we're trying it out. A little more casual, you know? Yeah. Catch. Got some natural sunlight here. Now, yeah. we might have potential interruptions... From, from a the, dog. ...from the dog. But he'll be fine. Who is stretching, stretching. right now. <laughs> Where's the pup? Someone said he's right there. Yeah, he's over there. He, he'll probably make a an appearance cameo. Yeah, I don't know. He's feisty. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so we 
wanted to talk about the bottle of bond stuff. So we've got our cart that we can explore a little bit while we do this. It's um, kind of the running theme throughout this episode. Yeah, but uh, we've also had a lot of questions on where do we find our bourbon news. Oh, he's getting close. Yeah. Um, hey, Pop. You know, what are our sources? How do we get the there heads he up on some things? Come here. Come be a star. He doesn't want to. Oh, he's shy. <laughs> he's shy. And then we asked um, some of our patrons, which thank you all for joining us as well. And yeah. thank you for your donations because you've made this, this possible. This whole live thing is because of Brought you patrons. Brought to you by <laughs> Patreon. <laughs> the like, more you know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. Dun, 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 Patreon. Okay. Um, but we did a poll on there and asked uh, what kind of flight fights do you want to see us do most. So we've got the results from that that we kind of want to talk about. See what's on the horizon as far as what we're going to do there. Yeah. So, yeah. And kind of take you through some of these um, bottled and bond bourbons. We're not going to really be tasting. We can't drink all of these. Yeah, we're, the we're not going to be drinking all of them, but we're going to, you know, be talking about them. We might, I don't know, we might crack another one open. Perhaps. Here that we haven't uh, done an uncorking sure. for. Um, and, you know, the, this Old Fitz bottled and bond isn't, to my knowledge, isn't being produced anymore. So when you find it, or at least when I find it, I always get it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think now I have a couple handles in the in the reserve. We found one in Chicago in our last Chicago trip. It was a, a liter though. Oh um, yeah. Yeah, it was like twenty eight bucks. So it was a little bit. I don't remember that. Marked up, but you know. <clears throat> Speaking of Chicago, um, Tom R, who has commented on our stuff before, yeah. said he wished he had met us at Delilah Chicago when we were there last year. <sighs> we had a great time. Yeah. That's probably my new favorite place in Chicago Love that Delilah's. I would go to. We'll be back. So, sure, we'll come yeah. back. I um, like Chicago. Yeah, we have friends that live up there, so yeah. we'll... Uh, and we we'll don't have our Super Chat set up right now. No. We're a disappointment. Again, this is our first time. <laughs> Please, yeah. bear yeah. with us. Yeah. We're so, going to get better. Just yeah. like, I mean, again, look... At oh, yeah. When look you at our... Watch our 100th <laughs> episode. Look at our first episode compared to what we do now, and we learn a lot, so yeah. we'll definitely learn. Things um, will get better. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> who, who watched that last episode, our 100th video? Who watched that? Because... You know, we've been really just uh, grateful for all the comments on that and the feedback yeah. and everything. And it's just been it really super nice. positive and supportive. So just thank you guys so much mm-hmm. for uh, for watching that 100 video and, and um, being yep. a part of the conversation. That's yep. really cool. You're the reason we keep drinking. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, man. That could either be good or bad. I don't know. We, yeah. Uh, oh, don't even like know what it. Super Chat is. Oh, don't worry about it. If yeah. You, yeah. No big deal. <laughs> So, so saying, please, sir, I have some up. money. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. It's, no, it's not begging. It's just a it's a Just a nice thing. Yeah. Thing. Yeah. Like, we are doing a job. So. Oh, they loved it. That's so nice. Good. Thanks. Thank you. A little different, you know, intro. Um, Got a little out of the box. A little out of the box. That one was a bear to edit. That was. Uh, I didn't do it. Yeah. A lot of time spent on that one. And I'm realizing that we didn't pour ourselves waters or anything. Mm. The only drink we have is bourbon. Why don't I go get us some waters real quick? Okay. Do you want to talk about where we find our bourbon news? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You chat about okay. that. I'll be right back. Okay. And I'll Hydration mo- is key. I'll move to the center of the frame. <gasps> so I got a cheek on each chair now. Oh, gross. <laughs> um, yeah, so on our Patreon page, we kind of asked what do you want to hear about in you know, some of our um, live chats like this. And a lot of people asked, like, they're kind of not knowing where we get a lot of our bourbon news and ask where we get ours. And, you know, I'll say this for, for two people who run a channel about bourbon, we're not like, we don't consider ourselves like super plugged in. Um, so a lot of stuff we hear from someone else or just, you know, we're not super on top of it like we should be. Cause I feel like it's more, we're doing things like this and editing and, you know, other stuff that goes into the channel. So, um, but basically, there's a, a couple things. Thank you. You're welcome. Couple of uh, sites that we use a lot, um, newsletters and so forth. So, newsletter wise, I subscribe to the Bourbon Bourboner, Bourbon R, Bourboner, Bourboner. Whichever. I don't really know. I've never heard anyone say it. Bourbon R. <sighs> I have, but now I can't remember what it was. I think it's Bourboner. I don't know. Yeah, but Bourbon. Are. Are. Um, if you go to their website, you can sign up for a weekly newsletter. It comes out on Friday. That is pretty important. And it's kind of like the weekly bourbon roundup. So all the important stories, it's listed there in an email. So so that's good. Um, also, uh, breakingbourbon.com is always a great place to go for that breaking bourbon news. What? what are you reading Nothing. Chats? Sorry, I'm reading comments. Okay. Uh, keep going. 
box wine flight? <laughs> yeah, that's what made me laugh. Okay. Because I am all about that. <laughs> that would be so fun. But by the wine. end of it, I'd be like laying on this table. Like we would just, I would take the bag out of the box <clears> and just like, just, whatever, don't worry about me. So. <laughs> Um, uh, yeah, so BreakingBourbon.com, of course, podcasts, like the um, podcast, or mm-hmm. um, uh, This Is My Bourbon Podcast, which, yeah. which we're on occasionally, a friend know. Perry. Um, you know, so podcasts like that, um, obviously, and Swan, actually, Swan, um, the Bourbon Finder, uh, said that he gets a lot of stuff from Reddit, so mm-hmm. the subreddit for bourbon reddit.com slash r slash bourbon yeah um and i was actually on there and i found i don't know if i still have it up i think i do maybe what this, was it? this this is interesting oh the reddit oh yeah that thing yeah so i was checking out the bourbon subreddit and is this my computer or yours this is mine okay because yours to scroll it's backwards and i can never get it Mine's uh, correct and yours is incorrect, but you know what, whatever. So apparently Metallica is talking about getting into the whiskey business. And uh, according to Whiskey Cast, which would be another podcast, um, they pick a roll. Uh, yeah, Whistlepig. Uh, and Maker's Mark, yeah. Um, it's working on a new Metallica-themed whiskey, and they have their eyes set on investing in a new distillery. Uh, so... Who was saying this? Dave or someone on Whiskey Cask? Anyway, I don't know. It says, I can just say that it's going to make a killer whiskey product and probably build a little distillery someplace as well, putting all the logistics together and crashing. Oh, he was a former Maker's Mark distiller. Yeah, yeah. just as, as hard as we can. The former uh, Maker's Mark master distiller said in, a, in the Whiskey Cast uh, interview. Um, he also added, San Francisco is the home of Metallica. Louisville is the home of bourbon. More on that in a second. And Nashville is the home of music, so one of those seems seems like it would make sense. I'm voting for San Francisco and the Bay mm-hmm. Area if nothing falls apart, which is what he said. Um, okay, so Metallica getting into the whiskey business might not even be bourbon business. Now, Louisville is the home of, of bourbon because a lot yeah. of people would say Bargetown. Okay, so like everywhere in Kentucky claims, has some... Well, you we know, don't claim to fame here in Lexington. We're not the home of bourbon. We're we never got, gonna claim. Mm-mm. You know, we've got. We're very a, close to what a people fight over is the home of bourbon. <laughs> yeah, you have you know Frankfurt with Buffalo Trace. You have yes, you have some um, in Louisville. You know Heaven Hill, since the fire in the '90s, has their distillery up there, and like Angels Envy is up there, and Evan Williams has Evan Williams Experience um, up there. But Louisville, the home of bourbon. Uh, I, mm, mm. I wouldn't say that. I would, if I had to give, give it, it like, to a place in Kentucky, I would say Bar- Bardstown. Bardstown, right? That's yeah. what I was gonna say. I would say but. Bardstown. So, whatever. <laughs> I don't know about that, but yeah, I mean, another thing is like we do work to keep up with all these other places that are finding their news at the source, but we don't have exactly what I would say is the time to be at the source and reporting the news and also doing this yeah. so we kind of just like you know other people are going to do that work let's let them do the work and then we'll just reap the <laughs> benefits of talking about it you know um so we're not i wouldn't say that we're on the list of the first to know but we're in the we have so many connections through the Lexington bourbon society and like knowing you know some distillers and stuff like that i think we yeah. hear stuff pretty early on um yeah and then sometimes every now and then out of the blue a new distillery will send us an email and be like hey we're gonna put this bourbon out what do you guys want to give it a shot and yeah let us know or something like that. So. And actually, a lot of the stuff we find out from you guys. Mm. Um, like That's true, I'll too. just go ahead and, and admit this. Um, it was someone who commented on our uh, rye fly fight. Hey, how about the AD Laws rye? And I was like, brr, did mm-hmm. the head tilt. It's like, I'm not familiar with them. So I went and looked them up, found out about them. They're in Colorado and reached out to them and said, hey, we'd love to try some of your products. And lo and behold, and this fits in to the topic because they have some bottled and bond bourbons. So we have here an AD Laws uh, four grain straight bourbon whiskey that is bottled and bond. Yeah, so we are going to be doing uncorkings, and we actually have four from this company, so probably a flight. Now that's going to combine rye and bourbon, which will be a first. Mm. 
Um, and then here is their bottled in bond rye. Right. Which we gotta like, do an uncorking on this. Yeah. They um, sent us four. Yeah. That's a lot. So we were like, maybe we should do a flight fight of the four of them. Yeah. By the way, I think my aunt's watching. So hi. <laughs> Hi, Aunt. Hi, Aunt Patty. Hi, hi Auntie. Uh, <laughs> auntie. Auntie Patty. No, she wouldn't like that. No, no. No. Auntie then. <laughs> so, yeah, we're super pumped to try these guys. And look at these bottles, folks. They, I, mean, I mean, like, this is heavy. I could knock someone out with this. Yeah. Not that you could knock anyone out with a regular bottle, but. When this is empty, this will be a decanter. For sure. That's pretty cool. Yes. Yeah. I mean, this just looks like a decanter. Cool thing about it, everything comes from Denver, Colorado. All the grain, mm-hmm. everything is uh, is local for these guys, which is super cool. I love that they're doing Bottled and Bond because they're still a small distillery, and Bottled and Bond is not the easiest thing to do. No. I mean, there's... Four years. Red tape to go through to be Bottled and Bond. Right. You know, some people ask, like, smaller distilleries, you can do any Bottled and Bond stuff, and they laugh. Like, I've heard that story. They're like, why would we do that? Well, yeah, like, that's just asking for shoot it. Shoot yourself in the foot, right? But we um, appreciate the... Qu- you know, the quality that goes so into cool. that. Yeah? So cool. So we're really looking forward to trying these. And we have uh, two others, another rye and another bourbon as well. And, you know, it's a four grain. So, that's pretty cool. So that's cool. So, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm sure out. That. So I don't know what I no. should try next. We got some old granddad. Uh, we got Henry McKenna, old Bardstown, which I don't know. Have we cracked that yet? We haven't. Do you want to do it? I kind of do. We got early times, 1792. Evan Williams, J.W. Dant, J.T.S. Brown, and I already had the old fits. So, what do you guys yeah. think? Well, I guess don't I need don't to... rush. Just let them let them say. <laughs> They'll tell us what they want. Tell us what you want. <laughs> Some scotch. Some scotch. <laughs> Tom, no. That's funny. No, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> old granddad, old granddad. Oh, My mom's watching too. Hi, Pam. It's just. The, pa- oh. the family. My whole family. The fam. Pam and the fam. Be nice. Are uh, on here. So, best behavior. See, we have all these other people commenting, I don't blush. My family's on here. And I'm like, <laughs> is it hot in here? Hot. I feel like I shouldn't have hot. anything else. I'm uh. good. I'm good. <laughs> they want the old granddad, the 17. 17- oh my gosh. We got two votes for old granddad, one old Bart, uh, Evan Williams, tequila. Um, hi, Mom. <laughs> hi, Sarah's Mom. Old Granddad. Okay, it looks like Old Granddad's winning, so I feel like we're going to have to table this for the second. Okay. Yeah, and and go with Old Granddad. So. OGD. Yeah, you know me. Where are you, OGD? There you are. But when you type in all caps, I'm more likely to feel the urgency of your... So we didn't bring the, the Evan Williams up, um, and like, yeah, there was Evan Williams, there's Jim Bean Bonded, there's, uh, of course, E.H. Taylor... Mm-hmm. Um, it's bonded. It wouldn't all fit on the car. We didn't bring them all up because I brought them up in a in a oh, laundry I'm basket. I'm actually gonna rinse this. Really so, well, we got the. We do the. Well, yeah, we'll just we'll just rinse them. All calves all the time. Pretty much. There we go. Mm-hmm. This is scientific. <laughs> I think this is a great method because it keeps you hydrated. I didn't see you pour that water in there, and so when you chugged, I thought it was what was left Straight in the glass, bourbon. and I was like, Bang. Chad, my mom is watching you. <laughs> yeah. That doesn't make me more nervous at all. <laughs> <clears throat> mm. Okay. Um. Someone said that Evan Williams bottle and bond tastes like peanuts. We do have Glen Cairns, but these have our logo on them. Someone <laughs> mentioned, why no Glen Cairns? Um, eh, well, we'd like Glen Cairns, fine. We've got some uh, some Norlands on standby, too. Yeah, just in case. Yeah. But, you know, we like rocks glasses. Just we're trying not, to make We're not here doing bit. critical uh, critical analysis. We're just Mm-mm. drinking some bourbon on Sunday. Hmm. Hmm. It's just so different than what we were just drinking. I think I need a second to transition. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> See the... Someone said I hold my liquor better, and I don't know that they know me very well. <laughs> you have not met her in person. <laughs> that actually brought a tear to my eye. <laughs> um, oh, that's funny. Yeah, the old Fitz is just so nutty, which I love, obviously. If you've watched the show at all, you know I love nutty bourbons. Um... Definitely. And this OGD, 
feel like is more fruity, kind of floral, a touch drier. I like them both. This one tastes higher proof to me. I was just thinking that. It has more of a kick. You just said that. because No, I seriously. It definitely has more. It does more have of, more of a kick. It has more of a kick. Um, I think if I had them in a blind flight, which I think we should do and we're going to get to that, um, I think I would, I don't know what I would pick, but it seems like. Um, Go ahead. It's, sorry. <laughs> it's distract- I want to read them all. Um. I feel like I would pick this because while I like a little bit of the flavor notes on the other one better, this one to me feels more rounded. I don't know, somehow. Yeah. It's got, I think it's bringing more to the table for for the uh, the proofage. Well. But I could be wrong. When you start making a list of things that we need, we need the droppers up here because I'm going to add a little bit of water. Next, next live. Um, we were contemplating earlier. See, that, Can I tell them? We were contemplating on when to do our live. Oh, yeah, sure. And so, I said Sundays. Because we're hanging out on Sundays anyways. And, uh, you know, Friday, you know, people have more time, I think, on the weekends to watch fun stuff online. And I think that's better than a weeknight. <clears throat> whenever, who knows what you're doing. I don't know what you're doing. Probably laundry or the gym or playing with the kids or I don't know what you're doing. Or drinking um, bourbon. On Sundays, though, it's Sunday fun day. And I'm like, <laughs> I want to have Sunday fun day. So, we're thinking like sometime Sunday afternoon to, to do these on a regular. Yeah. Um, what do you think about that? On the reg. Yeah. So. Um, whoa, so many comments. I know we can't keep up. I know. Um, I'm uh, so, if we don't keep up, do they stay there? I don't know. This is our first one. I don't think they do. I don't think they I don't do, think they do stay there. No. Uh, okay, well, we'll go back in a few minutes and answer some. I actually like it a little bit more with the water. I think it, um, you I don't. I don't. I don't. Sundays are great. They love it. Okay. No, I definitely do. I think it, um, not that I wasn't liking the kick and the heat because I always appreciate that. It just, um, mm, I don't know. It just kind of round, round out, rounded it, 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 it out the rough edges. Rounded it. it, it. Yes, for <laughs> me. Um, and you know what we're going to have to do? Not on this show because it's not a bottle and bond, but we're going to have to bring OGD 114 back. Oh, yes. And See, I really like to use it in cocktails, and it's been a mm. while since I've had it straight. Yeah. So you're right. We yeah. do have to bring that back. I think and if we redo our flight fight under fi- under $30, the tw- mm. 50 under 30 Oh, it'll definitely be in there. That would be in yeah. there, and I think that we maybe should. <clears throat> so someone um, asked, is this Basil Hayden? And yes, it is. The old granddad in question is Basil Hayden. Do you not know that? <laughs> How did I not know? It's Basil. <gasps> what? And again, we say Basil because do you know anyone named Basil? That, and we actually had that's someone tell us that he doesn't like that. So. Right. It was uh, Adam, Adam Harris. Adam Harris. The bourbon vivant. The bourbon vivant. The, the brand uh, ambassador for, for Beam, Beam Centauri. Centauri. So Beam and Maker's Mark. Um, he said it's Basil. Yeah. And so I have, it has taken me him, almost man. a year to train myself, and I still say Basil Hayden. Basil. But it's Basil. Basil Expedition, or Exposition, right? What? From uh, Austin Powers. A couple people have said merch, merch. Oh, I'm sorry. Trust me, we are working I on it. I want to. I really we do. We are working on it. Look at how, I want to make a shirt as cool as this shirt. Yeah. I just wear this shirt. I would have to say in the next two months. <gasps> Or so. I think we have to hold ourselves to it. Yeah, we do. It's just hard, but we're going to bust our ass to get it done. By May. By May. That'll be your birthday present. Of this year. That's my birthday birthday's month. in May. Yeah. <laughs> we will have merch. You heard it here first. Folks. Oh my god. Oh, OGD. I mean, OMG. You just wrote a check we can't cash. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi, Joe. From WBSE. Hi, Joe. They're doing a meet and greet. Yeah. In, in Kentucky. Joke. In October. And we're going to go to it. I want to talk about a couple of the lower priced... I keep talking while I turn away from the mic. How's the audio quality, by the way, folks? Is this okay? Is it sound... Is it, like, super low? Is it clipping? Is it sound okay? Because um, we have a mic, like, right below camera here. So we're just wondering. 
Uh, I want to talk about and visit some of the lower, lowest priced bottled and bond bourbons that I think are out there. Uh, J.W. Dant and J.T.S. Brown. Those were some that were in our first yes. bracket. These were in our first bracket. I just learned that the J and J.W. Dant is actually for Jim. Jim W. Dant. Jim W. Dant. And who's Jim? Jim, some, Jim some, W. Dant. Jim, he's Jim. Come on. Yes. Wow. These were... Actually, you know what? I look at things like these and I'm like, oh, that's so ugly. It must not taste good. And these actually didn't fare that poorly in our uh, in our bracket. Correct. When you do it blind, it doesn't matter. You know, and I'm with you, but like now, I've kind of oh. changed and I'm like, oh my God, look how awful this looks. And I want it. Because I'm like... Because you, you think it's a secret. looks like... Yeah, this looks like it hasn't been updated since the 80s, and or maybe really, even earlier. That's a really great point when you consider like new craft distilleries that are coming mm. out with the stuff that looks so sexy. It's so pretty. They have the best design. The bottle's really cool. Yeah. Whatever. And then you taste <laughs> it, and you're like, oh, no. I was just looking... It costs $60. This costs under $25. Oh, yeah. These were and both under $15. it's ugly as hell. Yeah. But it tastes good. Yeah. I was just looking for an age statement, and I realized, bottom and bond. Chad, you're so funny. Yeah. That's so funny. That's so funny. <laughs> so, bourbon under four years, by law, is supposed to have the age statement somewhere on the label. Mm. I don't think everyone always... You know, it's not like they have really good police out there in the in the TTB being like, eh. So, some... I just pictured the police working, walking through the liquor store. I would store, do it. Like, I would love to do would... it. Oh, I am so <laughs> on the rules. Burt Macklin? Bert Macklin, yes. I am so Liquor about PD. the rules with with uh, bourbon that I would oh, I would crack some skulls, man. Um, so both of these, bottle and bond, hundred proof, of course. Yes. Naturally, um, and some of the some of the lower lowest price bottle and bonds that I think there are. And I would like to try them both real quick. How about it? I don't think we're gonna make it through this video just if we bit. do that. Just a little bit. Okay. Whatever you say. Well, in the meantime, while you do that, I'd like to answer some comments. Do it. In the in-between. Okay, in the someone in between. said, um, oh, uh, Dylan, who's friends with James, who gave us all those scotches, mm. said that they, he hey, would Dylan. like to see us try some um, on camera for our reactions. So I think our plan might be to save some, try them each off camera, and find the ones that are the most um, reaction-worthy, <laughs> and maybe yeah. do an episode off of that. Uh Oh, again, I'm on a personal mission Just to find at least one scotch that I like. I'm not done. Okay, that's fine. Pour it in there. No rushing. Uh, no. Just give me a second. <laughs> I'm on a mission like to find... Like, this is how much I pour. Like a sploosh. A dram, would you say? No, it's not a dram. <laughs> dram. I could go get... It's dram. It's fine. Shot glasses. Just a wee -wee. Okay, fine. Not that we're taking shots, Pam. She might not even be, still be watching. Mm, Pam? Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, you talk. You answer some questions. Okay, I'm going to answer some questions. Um, okay, so, yes. I want to find a scotch I like. It's my personal life mission now because I have hated everyone that I've tried. It gives me a really bad headache, and I don't like it, and I know Chad feels even worse than I do. He's <sighs> not as open to it as I am. So, I appreciate your donation to the cause because it is, again, my mission to find at least one that I find enjoyable, not that I tolerate, that I find enjoyable. So, we're on our way to looking through the samples that we have, finding the ones that we get the best reaction out of, and then we'll make a little video about that, because that'll be fun. And the Scotch Test Dummies also sent us some, um, very kindly. So we're working our way through quite a bit of Scotch samples to, I feel like we're trying to find the Holy Grail of Scotch. <laughs> That's what I feel like. Yeah. Um, Someone said it would be cool for us to tweet or text out what bourbons we're going to be doing so that people could do the same stuff. But that is a really good idea. That's a really good idea. Um, I think, I let's figure out, we'll have to figure out the best way to get that info out. But like, if we're going to do it on Sundays, I think that you're right. We should yeah. put something out on maybe Monday that says what we're going to do the next Sunday. We'll so be you more guys, prepared. You guys have time, time to, to prep. Right. We weren't really prepared. Honestly, we didn't expect to cross our Patreon goal that quickly. Um, it was only maybe like a month or mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. that we got to our mark to be able to go live. So we're really appreciative of those donations, and we will be more prepared in the future and let you know ahead of time. Um, 
Probably through Instagram, maybe through our patron page. Well, we'll definitely post on Patreon. Yeah, what first, it's going to be. And we have public and private to patron only posts. They, so they get the they get the info first. They do get the info first. Yeah. Um, but we will let you know, like through Instagram and stuff. Yeah. So, uh, what else do we have <clears throat> here? So um, these little cute little shot glasses are the ones that came with the Lord's Rocks. Um, uh, product that we reviewed a couple videos ago. So, um, I don't think you can get just the glasses, but the glasses and the six whiskey stones were only like $29. And it came in a box, and you know, you get the bag to put the rocks in when you put them in the freezer. So, even if you're not a fan of whiskey stones, I think it's worth it just to get these two awesome little shot glasses. These are like um, either three. Three or four ounces. I think it's three ounces, I believe. But look at that. Ooh, someone said we need to get a moderator for our... Tom actually said we need to get a moderator. I would love to have someone who would volunteer for that. Yeah, that would be great. If you want to be our moderator, please. Yeah. <laughs> Let us know. Our email is, is it's bourbonite at gmail.com. If you want to be our moderator... Please let us know, because this is hard. It's hard to talk to him right. and you and read, because I want to answer everything. I really do. Yeah. Uh, you know, the Scotch Chest dummies just started using a moderator, and I think they were like, um, he was texting them or something like that, The you know, the the questions that kind of stood out, I guess. Someone asked, where, we, where do we buy our bourbon t-shirts? Uh, this one is from... My Kentucky Tea. Yes. And this was gifted to us last year at the New Orleans Bourbon Festival, which we're actually going to on Thursday. On I'm Thursday. so excited. Yeah. Yeah. Don't yeah, you want this, to take my money? This was uh, given to us, but I think we saw it in their gift shop, right? We did see it in their gift yeah, shop. Yeah. So awesome. go to Bullet's gift shop. Go to the old Stitzer Weller distillery. And... Someone says, why did we choose to stream the upstairs instead of our uncorking set? Uh, we just wanted a change of scenery. Mix it up. For our live stuff, mix it up. We can, yeah. If everyone likes the uncorking set better, I mean, we can go there. It's no big deal. But we got natural light here. It's daytime. We just thought it would be nice. It's actually easier if we do it down there because there's already lights set up and all that. Just kind of wanted to shake it up a bit. Let's see. You know, and we got, look, the bar cart in the background. <clears throat> How about that? That's awesome. A lot of people have asked for the song to come back. <laughs> please, please, well, please. Well, okay. If our true fans really want the song to come back, we'll bring it back. Here's, here's the thing about the song. Um, only the people who didn't like it were the ones who commented. So I saw all these comments like, this is the worst effing song I've ever heard. This song is shite. Uh, you know, th this is god-awful song. And I was like... Oh. A lot of people are saying the video and audio is great. That's really nice. Good. Thank you. We're using a lot of... That's what your patron money went to, is making this happen. So thank you. Yes. Um, someone asked what your... Uh, but what what do you call it? Um, your horoscope. Your um, what's the thing? A Libra, Spirit a Gemini, animal? a Virgo. What is I'm your a thing? Taurus. You're a Taurus. I'm a Taurus. I'm a Libra. The scales. <laughs> I don't know. If you can... <laughs> I'm a bull. I'm not opinionated at all. That seems accurate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also a. Uh, I just did that 16 personality thing. What was I? Oh, I don't know. The e campaigner. The I'm a campaigner. I'm an ENFJ. I think. I'm an ENFJ with a. T. No, you're something different. I'm not an ENFJ? No. Go to 16personalities.com. I'm the protagonist. He is the campaigner. <laughs> I thought you were a campaigner. No, I'm the protagonist. <sighs> that makes sense. All right, here, let's try JW Dan here. Is this what this is? Yes. Okay. Oh, it smells nutty. We haven't had this. Ooh, I haven't had this in a dog's year. Oh, he, someone else said audio is a little bit lower than most, but not. But good. Okay. So yeah, maybe I mean, we'll test that again next time. I mean, yeah, and I'm kind of looking at the levels right here. It's, it is. <laughs> Our speech is a little slurred because of the bourbon. <laughs> so, like, in a produced video, um, I go in and I normalize the audio. You know, I, r I run through filters and I make it all nice and healthy. With live, we're kind of just getting what we're getting. I mean, I can reach over here and turn it up a little bit. Hold on. Boom. How about that? Or we could just or we could just talk louder. Shh, quiet. Someone said, Will we choose Booker's or Jefferson's Ocean Cast Strength? And I think the question of that is which Jefferson's Ocean Cast Strength and which Booker's? Oh, for sure. I really love Jefferson's Ocean ten. 
And I love Seven, didn't I? You did love Seven. Yeah. I also really love um, the Booker's 1703. 03 from last year. Me too. Yeah. So that's tough. I'd have to blind them next to each other, and I but don't know. without blinding, I would say the Booker's 1703. It's tough because it's been such a long time since I've had the 10 mm-hmm. of the Jeffersons, so I'd have to do it. I can't say for sure. <clears throat> um, will you taste this? I did taste it. What do you think? I think it's nutty, delicious. Got priorities. <laughs> so I'll tell you about this. Uh, I had never heard about this until mm-hmm. we were on a tour at Wild Turkey, and I was asking the tour guide, "What is your favorite, like, value or bottom shelf bourbon?" And he said, "J.W. Dant." And I hadn't heard of that, so I went and I found it and I and I bought it. This was before we even started Bourbon Night, and I have to admit, it's pretty good. It is pretty good. It is good. Um, it's a little harsh for me. Like, I. It how has much a does kick. this cost? How much does this cost? Do you remember? Uh, I would have to say like maybe fifteen dollars. Okay, for fifteen dollars, this like I don't know a lot of people that go to parties anymore and buy like a crappy bourbon oh. to take to parties. You know, like in college. But if I had known about this in college, this would have been my go-to. Yeah. Because it's really good for the price. And I feel like other things out there that are just like, just fire in your mouth. I think a lot of people, not... yeah, they see it on the bottom shelf and like, eh. But eh. they see something on the second to bottom shelf, like Evan Williams or Four hey, Roses talk, Yellow Label. Don't talk or It's about. on the second shelf. Don't talk about it. Or Jim Beam. Mm-hmm. You know, th- those better sellers... Even though their price might put them on the bottom shelf, they're a better seller for whatever reason, so they don't go on the bottom shelf. They're on the third shelf or even the fourth. They're more at eye level. So your Evan Williams black label, your Jim Beam white label, your Four Roses uh, yellow label, um, things like that, they're more apt to buy your Maker's Mark if you want to splurge in your college yeah. years. Um, or, you know, God, you're... Woodford, you know, at thirty dollars in college, that's like a top shelf bourbon for you. Um, so you kind of shy away from these guys, but man, if you give them a chance, I think this is where it's at. Yeah, I mean, for the price, yeah. yes. Yeah, I think it's definitely something to have behind the bar. Maybe for the group of people that you don't don't need impressing. I'll just say that. Not that you don't like you like them. This is not bad. Yeah. But maybe they don't care and they don't need impressing <laughs> because they're not pretty they're not pretty they're but, not pretty you know but this is like the exact same bottle for both of these. some people were saying some scotches i we need to try or i need to try oh stop talking about monkey, scotch. monkey shoulder highland park those are all ones we on the list of samples that we have generously donated or to try that we have tried so we'll maybe we'll just do an episode where we kind of do a summary of our scotch experience um i think that'll be fun it's scotch so, night <laughs> Yeah, that's not funny. I know it's not funny. <laughs> um, yeah. While you're while you're going through that, I'm just doing a little bit more. I want to talk I'll catch about up eventually. Uh, flight fight ideas. Now, again, this is something we posted on Patreon, and these polls we're gonna always keep public. We are gonna have some patron only so posts, um, but for our polls, we keep those public. So even if you're not a patron, even if you don't want to give us a buck, <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> but so we posted a flight fight ideas, and here are the results. So with the most votes, we had barrel proof bourbons, which that is one that we definitely want to do and is overdue. So we are for sure doing that. Once we wrap up the rye flight fights, we're gonna be doing that. Uh, in a that was 19 votes. In 18 votes, bottled and bond, flight fight. Now the question is, how do we choose? We've got a whole bar cart back here full of bottled and bond bourbons. How do we choose? I don't know. We might have to do more than one. We'll get into a whole thing like the the rye flight fights. Uh, next, in tied for third place, two top shelf bourbons versus two bottom shelf bourbons. Now, here's a question for you guys: What is a quintessential top shelf bourbon, and what is a quintessential bottom shelf bourbon? Let mm-hmm. us know in the comments. Also tied for third place is distillery vertical. So we do all Jim Beam products. We do all um, Buffalo Trace products. We do all Wild Turkey products. We definitely want to do that too. And then tied for fourth place, 10-year-old bourbons, you know, like our beloved um, Henry McKenna and others. Uh, And then non-Kentucky bourbons, which 
we don't have a whole whole lot of so that would be an easy flight fight we would just pick four that we have on hand and, and do those um you know the ad laws from colorado could definitely fit into that right there things like um widow jane or uh what's the one in new york uh the hudson baby the hudson yeah baby bourbon things like that um we have some texas bourbons with the uh red river red river thank you red You're river <laughs> things like that <laughs> uh but yeah let us know what do you think the quintessential like two top shelf bourbons would be and two bottom shelf bourbons because we want to do those blinds and see how they yeah well with how they react that's a great idea but we need to know like what are those two i think blanton's just personally i think blanton's people would say is a top shelf bourbon because you think about like going to a bar not really a like a bourbon bar just a bar just any bar or even like a restaurant bar Mm -hmm. it's like well what's you know what's your top shelf well we have blanton's um i think some places would call woodford a top shelf I think it depends on the level of restaurant or bar that you're at. Exactly. If we're talking about like chain think about restaurant, bourbon, then Woodford's going to be top shelf. Yeah. Or Blanton's will be top Blanton's shelf. Blanton's if they And have it. I'm okay with Blanton's being top shelf at some places. It depends on the place. But, yeah. you know, whatever. True. Um, someone asked if we would consider doing more collaborations in the future, like yeah. Comic Book Men. We collaborated with Scotch Test Dummies. Yeah, we love collaborating. Like, we want to make new friends. Who doesn't want to make new friends? Totally. I want to get scotch test dummies on our live stream um there's whiskey wasteland oh yeah uh who just started his his mm-hmm. channel and you should guys should check him out and subscribe we have I would like to get him on. on there yeah perry, perry. <laughs> <laughs> he does uh this also, is my known, also known also known as perry uh, we, yeah we want to get perry on it's here it's a in term of endearment it is yeah um so yeah we definitely we're open to having collaborators. We want to learn from other people. We want to share this with other people. We take a page out of... I have three cups in front of you, me right you, now. you do. It's fine. We take a page out of Master Distiller's book. Rising Tide Raises All Ships. Um, you look at other industries and they're very cutthroat, semi-nasty. With bourbon, they're all friends. They grew up together. You look at Fred No, Master Stiller of Jim Beam and um, uh, Wild Turkey with Eddie Russell. Eddie Russell, Jimmy Russell. If you ever hear them talk together, they were they're like best childhood friends. friends. They're they grew best up together. They're best friends. Yeah. They're different. Yeah, different companies, but like it's like they're brothers. You know, it's really cool. One cusses a lot more than the other. And it's funny. <laughs> I once counted how many times he cursed. In a, in a seminar. And it was hilarious because it was like, I don't know, probably like 80 times. But he does it in a way that you're you're just like, huh. <laughs> Let me listen to you. You don't yeah. care. I mean, I don't care anyways. Yeah. But. So we take kind of a page <clears throat> from their book. And we don't see anyone else who has a YouTube page about bourbon as competition. No. We look at them as compadres. Right. You know, friends. Collaborators. If- Collect if they have viewers and we have viewers, we're all good. I mean, yeah. so we share viewers, like, it's great. Yeah. So there's, you know, the the even the bigger whiskey channels out there that we would like to have on ours and, you know, sure. talk it up. Someone else asked if we had seen the movie Neat. Yes. Yeah. We saw it in theaters. It's fantastic. Yeah. Go on iTunes. Look at it. Watch it. It's awesome. It's not just, like facts and figures about bourbon it's like stories and they tell it in such a beautiful way the filmmaking is amazing you have to check it out go watch neat yeah um, it's the very bourbon well film. done it's very well done i want to watch it again i think i might ask chad if we can do that after this so sure we can do that we'll yeah. we'll see yeah that's um, very very well done marianne barnes and and freddie, uh, freddie are like are the two stars of that thing it's awesome I'm trying to scroll through some more comments. I think we should take, mm. we've got about 15 minutes left um, before our camera clicks off. So I think that we should take uh, some time to answer some more comments. So bear with me while I read them for just a moment. Someone said a barrel proof flight fight would be awesome. Oh, here's the thing about barrel proof. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> we want to do, so Booker's is without a doubt going to be one of those barrel proofs, okay? But we want to do a Booker's flight fight first to find out which Booker goes in so question for you all what are the four bookers now we have the 2017-03 which was our bourbon of the year 2017 which obviously goes in we have the coveted center cut bourbon that was sent to us as a sample thank you for that person who god i can't remember who sent it to us 
Oh, it was Monty. It was Monty in Texas. Oh, Monty yes. Sent us, Thank sent you, Monty. Bourbon. Thank you, Monty. Uh, s- sent us that bourbon. So we have two other spots. What other wonderful, coveted uh, bookers should we put in our flight fight? And then that winner will go in and take a spot in our barrel-proof flight fight. And then we can decide on what the other three is. We might have to do a couple flight fights for that, but let us know. Did you want to have this one next or this one? Yeah, let's do that. This one. Because we, we, we actually have a flight, or I'm sorry, uncorking. an uncorking of this coming out soon. So we're we'll probably we're probably going to save that one. All right. Um, someone said we should do Wild Turkey 101 versus Decades. Mm. That would be fun. <laughs> that would be fun. Um, Love both of those. Mm. Have you had this yet? No. Which one? JTS I don't know. Brown. Oh, I'm behind. It's also nutty. It's definitely got a kick. Ooh. That's good. I might, but see, it, okay. Ooh. The man. JTS Brown. Wait. JW Dant. JW Dant. JTS Brown. Yes. Okay. I'm on the same page. The JW Dant feels higher than 100 proof. It has a lot of great flavor notes, but it lets you know it's pretty strong. Yeah. This is a little smoother, a little more mild, a little more Smells balanced. Great. It has a lot of the same good flavor notes. Yeah. So it's like, if I was going to make a drink, I'd probably use the JW Dant because I think it would cut through a little bit better. Man, I think I'm with but you. But for just a sipping, I think this is really nice. Yeah. But I like both of them. Mm. And for as I gotta inexpensive you, as they are, that's great. To be honest with you, the JTS Brown and the JW Dant, I feel like I'm liking a little bit more than the old granddad by Alden Bond. Ooh. Sorry, don't don't hate me, but I feel like that's true. What do you think? What? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What'd you ask? I said the JTS Brown mm-hmm. and the JW Dant. I'm feeling a little bit more than the old granddad by Alden Bond. Um, they're each interesting in their own, but I think I'm feeling um, the JTS Brown the most. Yeah, so more than the yeah. OGD. Yeah, just a little. Let's see. Um, <clears throat> someone said for a top bourbon under $100 for a Booker's Lover, what would you recommend? Booker's. Well, <laughs> other than that, don't be a brat. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> Do you have anything? Any And also... Wait, under 100 a $100 or less, yes. Voyage 7 or 10 of Jefferson's Ocean. Okay. Um, except what it lacks, being at, I think it's 112 proof. 100, it's about 112. 112. Yeah. It lacks the kick that a mm-hmm. Booker's has. So there's that. But it's really unique. What, what happens what other barrel proof? out there on the I mean, seat? Oh, 1792. Oh, 125 yeah. proof. Yes. Is a, is a great full proof. Yeah. Um, that's amazing. Cool. Um, Next question. Oh, okay. Unless you're done. No, go ahead. No? Okay. Any suggestions for bourbon bars to hit when visiting Louisville or Lexington? Yes. Lexington, I can say without a doubt, um, Old Kentucky Bourbon Bar is in, um, not Lexington. That's not Lexington. That's in Newport. That's in Newport. But if you're coming to Kentucky, that is a great OKBB. If you want to go towards Cincinnati, That's in Covington. Um, OBC Kitchen. Old Bourbon County Kitchen. Old Bourbon County is Kitchen. Is in Lexington. In Lexington. Their bartenders are amazing. Yes. They have a great, great cocktail cocktails. program. Great cocktails. Yes. Um, I Louisville. would say Bluegrass Tavern in oh, Lexington. Yes. Is, or Bells. Or Bells. Our, our two... Uh, Bluegrass Tavern has the selection. So if you're looking for just a crazy amount of bourbons, go there. Uh, great bartenders at Bells as well. Um, and then there's the Haymarket. Yes. Whiskey bar. They had some in PR issues recently Louisville? in Louisville. Yeah. They have some great like vintage selections. Yes. Um, so if you want like an Evan Williams 1783 pre-fire from Heaven Hill. You can get it. You can get it there. There. Go there. Oh. Um, let's see. What else do we have? Someone else said OBC Kitchen, which yeah. is true. Yep. I like Absolutely. that. Uh, Doc Crow's we went to and I really like that. Doc Crow's is great. They got a good food f- and uh, they have good booth prices. going on. Good prices. Good prices. Yeah. Uh, one of their cheaper pours which we love is old crow reserve you know um which is pretty amazing so i think i may have missed some comments well for sure thing, for sure yeah you um, know it, so someone said walking stick single barrel 90 i don't think i've had that i've had some walking you have stick. you uncorked it mm, i had the single barrel yeah 
Okay, I thought I was just a, I don't mm. know. I don't know. No, she uncorked it. Listen, One of the first it's been two years of things I've had while I was drunk, so. <laughs> so made by Buffalo Trace or Barton, one of the two. Um, it's pretty good. Pretty good. All right. All right, how many? Listen, we got 10 minutes left. I may have missed some of your comments because this no thing doubt. scrolls in a weird way. No doubt. We need a moderator, clearly. Clearly. So if you have any pressing questions, please go ahead and add them back again right Plus, now Plus, okay, the so once this, like, finalizes and is just on the web, you can go back and add a comment, and we're very good at answering Do that. comments in the comments. <laughs> yeah. So, all right. We're going to do an impromptu uncorking. Now, we have near uncorked just put these away this one um this is old bargetown bottled in bond again going with our with our um um, um our, um, our bottled in um, bond theme um theme thank you this is made by the willet distillery the word theme the word theme this is around 21 22 dollars it doesn't have a cork so that's usually an indication quit looking at comments i can't help it so there's no pop there's just a a crack. Just a crack. We have literally nine minutes to do this uncorking. Oh, we're going to do it. Oh, we're going to do it. Yeah, just leave comments on this episode once it's posted, because I'm not sure I can keep up with what you're no, saying. No, we can't. I didn't expect this type of response. It's awesome. Thank well, you. There's 120 watching right now. It's awesome. And if you have bigger comments, bigger questions, email us at itsbourbonite at gmail.com, and I will answer you, or he will answer you, one of us will answer you. Yeah. But for now... I've we're in told. uncorking time, so I've been told to uncork. We are we're not doing comments at the moment. It smells pretty young, I think. Well, it's at least four years. I would say it's four years. I'm giving it the eh, on the nose. Yeah. Mm. I mean, I get some nuttiness I, in there. I smell the potential. This is Willet, right? It is Willet. I can smell it. You can smell the Willet. Yes, I can smell the Willet in it. I'm a big fan of Willet products. It smells like dark cherry and like the wood when you go into the back section of Lowe's and you smell like the fresh cut wood. I got some on me. <laughs> I can't help you with that. All right, I'm going to go ahead and taste it since right. we're limited for time. I still get the dark cherry. I still get the fresh wood. Oh, for sure. The wood. Cedar? Cedar. Cedar. Yeah. It's like a closet. Finish is short. Uh, we're out of crackers. I'm sorry that we're out of oyster crackers. We're, I'm going to the store after this to get some more crackers. Um, Maybe like in, in an hour or two. Right. Well, not right after <laughs> this. Like, ugh, I'm going to get some pizza first. Duh. <laughs> it's. This is, to me, tad, cherries and wood. A tad dry. It's a little hot. A little hot. Um. Mm. I can taste the corn. I can taste the sweetness of the corn. It wants to come through, but I feel like it's being like stomped on by the wood. Yeah, it's um. Wow. This is stomping. This has more of a burn than anything we've had today. I agree completely, and it's crazy because they're all the same proof. Man, it's like my tongue's numb. It's fire. It's fire. It's a little hot. It's a little hot. Um, it's so cherry to me. It's very cherry. It's. I'm going to upgrade it from a little dry to pretty dry. It's a, got a drying finish. Yeah. yeah. Um, like, I need some water. Man. My tongue is like sandpaper. <laughs> yeah, it's... Um, Kentucky's but again, I gold think this medal which... award at the Kentucky State Fair. Who? Kentucky State Fair. Who knows at the Kentucky State Fair? <laughs> Who's there? I want to know. I mean, so, the, you know, this is a Bargetown product, obviously. I just want to put the lid on this so you don't spill it Thank while you. you're tilting. Um... Obviously, it's 100 proof. Someone said we're their spirit animal. <laughs> well, thank you. This whiskey has been made from so a drunk. formula <laughs> and method developed by generations of Willet distillers, Kentuckians dedicated to producing the greatest Kentucky bourbon, Old Time Sour Mash. I think this would be really interesting in a cocktail that involves cherries, perhaps. I don't know. Manhattan? A whiskey sour? I don't know. 
But yeah. no, not a whiskey sour. No, I think I think Manhattan. Um, on its own. Man, it almost would tastes... I choose it? Mm, <clears throat> I gotta say no. I gotta say no. I wouldn't choose it. It almost tastes like a finished bourbon. It does. It's got such a cherry wood kick. Like it's so flavorful when it comes to that. But it's not, which is crazy. It's not bad. It's just. Meh. Okay, so this is around twenty two dollars. Um, so there's that. For twenty two dollars, it's all right. Put it in old fashioned. I'd put it in an old fashioned yeah. or a Manhattan. I think this would be perfect for a Manhattan, personally. Yes. But that's all I know. We got to wrap up. We got less than five minutes left. Uh, I don't. Someone says they're jealous that um, <laughs> we're drinking while they're at work. I'm sorry. About that. <laughs> uh, answer a quick, quick comments. Um, Thank you guys for being so supportive and commenting all this stuff. This is yeah. awesome. Yeah. I wish these were permanent so we could go back and answer all of them. I would love to. It's really hard to pay attention. Yeah. Um, did we did we talk about all of our bottle and bond bourbons? I don't think so. Oh, but early I don't think... times. So, guys, early times, uh, which is normally a blended whiskey, came out with a bottle and bond bourbon, which I just think is good. <laughs> he likes it. It's. Oh, I didn't mean to. Do they that want one. you to sing the song. Oh, it's <laughs> bourbon night. We're gonna do it right. We're gonna have a glass to begin. All right, that's yeah. Nice. I think uh, that's proof that okay. you can do it. All right, fine. Thank you. I can't handle much more. The proof's in the proof. Um. I didn't expect you to just I, on <laughs> command sing. I know. Well, it's because I heard it recently. Normally, I would have forgotten it. You have three minutes to sip and discuss. Early times, bottled and bond. We gotta wrap up. Oh man, I like this better than the Willet. I'll just say that. I agree. I like this better than the Willet. Yeah, it's not as nutty. As and I you get more. Yeah, this for the price in this a liter. Twenty two for the liter, right? Twenty two, twenty three. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, early times, bottled and bond. I have Apparently, at home. it was not a very good seller. People were like, "Ooh, early times, little new." Um, but it's good it's quality, it's quality for the price and the amount so yeah. you should get it bond um, and bond and it's fun look at the, the label school it's, it's fun. fun i don't know yeah it's fun mm. well i don't want to get cut off here so we got two minutes about so we'll sign we got off. a timer before the thing clicks and we don't know so yeah we'll just go ahead and sign off yes um, love that song well thank you john Ugh, he sang <laughs> everyone wants an equipment episode we will figure out how to do a behind the scenes of the making of it's bourbon night that will happen eventually. Are you going to try some Jack? We got to stop answering questions. Not. We no. got to stop answering okay, questions. Okay, okay, okay. We have to sign off. <laughs> All right, we have to sign off. We <laughs> or do. we'll get cut off, and that won't be fun. Yeah. Um, so, I'm Chad. No, you're Chad. <laughs> Ooh, wow! I'm Sarah. We're It's Bourbon Night, and <laughs> thanks for watching. You can follow us on all the social media channels at It's Bourbon Night, uh, Amazon Influencer page slash shop slash it's bourbon night nope 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 amazon.com slash shop slash it's bourbon night. that's what i said no you said influence whatever and patreon <laughs> patreon.com slash it's bourbon night you can become our uh patron for as little as a dollar and all the way up to i don't even remember where we'll a lot fly to you and hang out we could come to you and do a bourbon night yeah. this is what it'll be like um this is a sample do you want this um Anyways, we really appreciate you watching. We really appreciate all of our patrons for making this live episode happen. We will rewatch this, critique it, and get better. <laughs> and get better. We promise. We will. And we'll look into getting a moderator because I feel like that's necessary now. Yes. Thank you for laughing at us and commenting for us. And if you have significant comments, please leave them on In this the page. Below. Or email us. It's bourbon at gmail.com. Thanks so much. Chad, yes. cheers to you. Cheers to you. And we got to go. All right. So. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.